The last tier of the program is getting back out into the community. And earlier I talked about the readiness gap, that students don't have the leadership skills to be able to problem solve and manage different sources of information as they come at them. Like we live in a hyper-changing world and our students need to be prepared to, to work with that. So the point of this third tier is to get back out and help the community. And you don't have to have a student in the district. In fact, I think it's gonna be kind of a nice change to take the district that Central uh, is supported by and reach out to those who don't have kids in the district. Uh, have a daddy-daughter dance for folks who have their kids in daycare right now. Uh, do community events, things that would typically be done through the Cer Civic Service Center or through the community center. And, and have a hosting event in uh, the high school. Having an art show or a street fair inside where our local artists come in and work with the art groups at the middle elementary and high school levels and we have an art fair. Uh, reaching out to businesses and asking how can we help you instead of having them always helping us. We have time, we have kids, we have, they wanna get out there and do stuff. Uh, do you need furniture moved? You can go through the community center and apply for it. I know a lot of the kinks of this need to be worked out, but the main point of the third tier of the program is that we should be able to talk to anybody in Wald Lake and ask them what the high school's doing for them, like, and it's student-led. The way I envision it is like, occasionally on a football game, have the students go put personal invitations in one subdivision and just say, hey, we'd love to see you at the football game. Uh, have students do one week of, we're gonna rake your leaves down the street. Thanks for helping us out. Thanks for being a part of our community. Uh, invite them to volleyball games, have them come to art shows. But I think when it comes from the kids, that gives the sense of community that we're searching for. That those who aren't involved, particularly in the high school, middle school, or elementary schools, know what we're doing because the kids are reaching out to them. And that will showcase exactly the kind of students we have here in Walt Lake. Uh, responsible, authentic kids who want to give back to society, who are desperate to become a part of the greater good. And if you ask any of them right now what they want to do with their lives, they've got grand schemes, they've got plans, or they don't. But if you ask them, do you want to make a difference? generally the answer for all of us is yes. So creating an opportunity within the school day for them to do so, uh, or just after, I think will not only better our community relations uh, within the sub-districts by helping, but that element of giving back is what we all want. That part of, uh, that altruism is what we're all aiming to achieve. So that's the basis of the program. And of course there are a lot more details and things that need to be developed, but for the most part, uh, that wraps it up. So thank you so much for your time and attention to this. And if you look at the snapshot that you've been given, it kind of sums up what I've said here. Thanks.